Today's WSJ House of the Day is a quiet retreat on Shelter Island. And with more details, we're joined by Jackie Bishop from our mansion team. Hi. Jackie, great to see you. Thanks for Thanks being for here. Me. Sounds like an absolutely lovely property. Tell us about it. It is. It's a four-acre property right on the point of Daring Harbor, which is a neighborhood in Shelter Island. Um, it used to be the site of a really famous hotel in the 19th century that attracted a lot of people from the city, from Boston. Unfortunately, the hotel burned down twice. Twice. <laughs> um, but the location is, uh, you know, still intact, still has the attraction that it had back then. Beautiful views, beautiful waterfront. And is it as large as a hotel? It's, well, the property is four acres. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, if you compare it to other houses that might be in the neighborhood, it's, a, it's a modest. It's 3,400 square foot main house, a 1,250 square foot guest cottage a pool, 430 feet of waterfront. Um, so everything that you'd need in a summer home. I right on the water, which is mm -hmm. so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And the family that lives there is leaving, why? Well, they'd like to downsize. They've owned the home for um, uh, about a decade or so. Um, they're only the second owners to own that particular home. Uh, she bought it from an owner that she met several decades prior. Um, and it's a little bit too much space for them. So they're going to keep something nearby, but um, are sad to see it go. Absolutely. Did they do extensive renovations? They did quite a bit. Uh, they renovated the interior of the main house. They added a master suite to the guest cottage. They landscaped the property. Um, but they tried to keep the integrity of the home. Actually, the Homes Foundation has bricks from the original old hotel. There's a uh, fireplace that has salvaged brick as well. And it was important to the homeowner to keep things, details like that, beams, wide plank floors. Um. And the old hotel is over 100 years old, correct? Well, it burned down in 1910. So uh, it hasn't been around for a while. But where they could keep little details inside the home, they tried to. They did. Mm -hmm. Oh, it sounds like a lovely home. Thank you so much, Jackie, for telling Thank us you. about it. Thank you.